Good morning, Rams. I'm Ajane. And I'm Reagan, and here are the morning announcements. A police officer was shot on Saturday in Ferguson, Missouri. His wound was not life-threatening. Some people believe that it was a retaliation from the shooting in August of unarmed African-American team Michael Brown. Here is a video clip of all the clubs you can join at MHS. Let's check it out. That they know code It's not about the salary It's all about reality And making some noise Making a story On Friday, the Maricopa Rams football team Dominated the Vista Grande Spartans Downing them 35 and nothing Junior quarterback Aaron Owens Completed 18 of 26 passes For 270 yards And a touchdown Junior Johnny Johnson Was the lead receiver With 7 catches For 123 yards The Rams improved one and three following the controversy at Williams Field. Their next game is on Thursday against the Morena Tigers, who are 33 and two. Our volleyball team will travel to Mountain View today. They played an amazing game last week, and we have some highlights from that game. Set from Maricopa Rams News. I'm here at the volley varsity volleyball game where the Maricopa High Girls are taking on Mesa Skyline. The girls' volleyball team are determined to make a name for themselves. They came into the game with a record of 5-3. and three. Here, the girls are in their starting set, and a good effort by the girls getting the point with the help by Taylor Holes and Elizabeth Gallon. The girls would eventually fall to Skyline 3-1. to one. After the game, we had a chance to talk with their coach. Hi, I'm Brissette Torresias from Maricopa Ram Studio. I'm here with the varsity volleyball coach. So what do you feel your strengths and weaknesses were as a team? Uh, tonight, we kind of didn't pass very well. Our serve receive really hurt us, and defense, uh, first round defense kind of killed us. We weren't moving our feet and getting to the ball like we should. Um, to compensate for that, we were very scrappy tonight. Girls were really hustling for the ball. Um, we kind of just let the other team outplay us tonight. Were you nervous going into the four set knowing uh, Mesa Skyline had an advantage? Uh, no, I wasn't nervous. I'm pretty calm. I know my girls can pull it out. 
Uh, the thing we struggle with a lot is just our inconsistency. They definitely have this skill set in the heart, but we just got to always put it on the court. What do you feel as a coach you can improve on? Do you think you, you did a pretty good job? you think uh, your players know what to do? Um, as a coach, we can always improve. Uh, my players can also improve. Uh, basically, the biggest thing for us is just staying focused, staying consistent, and really pushing each other and not giving up. Thank you. As you just saw, this was a varsity coach, and now back to the studio. The girls golf team will play on Wednesday. The boys golf team will play today and on Thursday. Cross country will compete on Friday at Grande Sports Complex. In Arizona sports, Williams Field will have to forfeit their four win due to ineligible players. They transferred without getting permission from the AIA to play football this, year, this school year. This means that the loss to Williamsville will not apply to us. It will, however, hurt us in a PowerPoint for our division. The blood drive is today. Hopefully you participated in this good cause. We have more details for this event on Friday's show. Oh, I missed up. Well, that wraps up our show again. I'm Reagan. And I'm Ajane. Have a great day, Rams.